Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about your options for music in Key Stage 4. I'm going to go through the GCSE music course and give you a short insight as to what you can expect if you decide to take music as an option. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer lots of your questions and queries over the course of this video. We're really lucky here at Crossing because we have a fully kitted out music department that is designed specifically with GCSE students in mind. The classrooms are perfectly set out to have theory lessons, listening lessons and composition sessions. We have enough computers for each student to work on their own and they have all the software a music student would need to compose and record their work. The music department also has four small practice rooms, each with access to a piano or keyboard. As a music student, you'll be able to book these rooms to rehearse, either on your own or with other musicians. We also have access to drum kit and guitar amps, so if any of you set up a band, you can also practice most days of the week. There is a large recording studio space, and this is for the sole use of GCSE music students. This is a larger rehearsal room with microphones, electric drum kit, and computer access, so you can record any songs you've written or complete the performance element of the course. This room can also be used as a quiet space to work on your compositions during lunch times, and like the other spaces, it can be booked most days. Firstly, you will be taught by both myself and Miss Cross for different elements of the course. GCSE Music is split into three units, focusing in the three main areas of music, performing, composing and appraising. They are split pretty equally in terms of course weighting, with Unit 1 and 2, the performance and composition, taking up 35% of the course and appraising taking up the other 30%. What this means is that music students will have completed over two thirds of the course before they walk into the exam room, giving them an excellent chance of coming out with a high grade. The coursework elements are completed throughout the two years, with recording sessions planned throughout Key Stage 4. We give plenty of time during lessons to complete coursework, so you can always be assured that you'll have a guidance 100% of the way. Unit 1 is the performance element and is the unit that involves the most amount of independent learning. Hopefully, by the time you have started this September, you will have already gained some skills on an instrument, whether that's singing in the car or piano lessons after school. Any instrument is allowed in this unit, and you can perform in any style, so it doesn't matter whether you like to perform Beethoven piano sonatas or blast out some Hamilton songs. The unit involves students putting together a portfolio of pieces, of your own choice, that have to total at least four minutes. This can be as many pieces as you like, provided you hit the required time limit. At least one of the pieces must be a solo, meaning you perform it on your own, and at least one has to be an ensemble performance. This piece allows you to work with other musicians, either from your class or outside the school. In the past, we have had flute duets, trios from musicals and rock bands performing as part of the coursework, so the options for you are really wide open. You also have priority access to our incredible instrumental teachers from Gwent Music Service. They visit once a week and will help you prepare for these performance recordings, plus any other graded exams you might be interested in completing. If you require any more information about the services Gwent Music provide, please visit their website for more details. As part of Unit 1, you also have to complete an analysis on one of the pieces in your portfolio. This part allows students to really look at one of their songs and learn about how they are put together, whilst also focusing on the performance skills required within the piece. Unit 2 is the composition element, and students get the opportunity in this module to write their own pieces of music. The unit requires two pieces to be completed, and together they must total between three and six minutes in length. One of the compositions is written to a set brief, which is given by the WJEC, and can be anything from writing a piano piece to an opening of a museum, or writing a rock song that is performed at a local music festival. Students get the option of choosing from four briefs, and this composition will be started and finished in year 11. The other piece is a free composition, this means that students can write in any style for any ensemble of instruments. This one really allows pupils to write in the style that they feel most comfortable, and the element of freedom allows student creativity to flourish. 
We will hold regular after-school sessions that we call masterclasses to allow students to work on a one-to-one -one basis with myself and Miss Cross, meaning students can get detailed feedback on the work they're producing and ample time to develop their skills. Unit 2 will also requires students to complete an evaluation on one of their compositions. Here, you will look at the process of writing your piece and how well you think you achieved that task. You also look at your influences and skills that you developed throughout the process of composition. Unit 3 is the appraising element of the course. The unit looks at four areas of study and between them will look at loads of different styles of music from the last 400 years. You will have the opportunity to learn about how music is put together and where Western music started. You will look at different groups of musicians and the features and terms that they use to describe them, as well as more modern styles of music, like musical theatre and jazz. You will take an in-depth look at music for film, which will give you an insight into how important it is and what effect it has on a piece of cinema. And you will look at popular music and all of the different genres that are associated with it. During this area of study, we will also focus on the development of rock music, studying its origins and how it has developed over the years. We will also analyse a song by the Welsh band Manic Street Preachers and focus on how it is put together and the different musical elements within. All of this study will lead to a listening exam at the end of year 11, which will involve using the terms and knowledge that you have learned over the previous two years and answering eight questions on different types of music. Everything you need to know will be taught within your music lessons, as well as a vast selection of resources that you can use, either external from the WJEC or internal from us. These internal resources are a collection of videos, booklets, quizzes and exercises that will be accessible to all music students digitally throughout the course. We hope you have found this video informative and that we have given you a small insight into what studying music at Key Stage 4 might be like. But remember, we also have lots of extracurricular opportunities, including choirs, instrumental groups and taking an active part in the annual school show. A lot of our music students have been main parts and important elements of our school shows over the years, and we hope to continue the tradition for many years to come. Thank you for watching, and please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions or queries. Thanks. Bye.